Hello and welcome to the Character Design for Educators course. My name is Matthijs Klaasner, I'm one of the tutors on this course and this is General Ed. And General Ed will point out that this is week number one of this course and in week number five you will be able to, uh, to graduate and get your own certificate. Um, so that's pretty cool and get one of these uh, nice badges as well. And in five weeks time we will be able to know all the ins and outs of Character Animator and Adobe Illustrator. But you're also allowed to create your character in Photoshop. Um, so Character Animator is running now in full action with a designed character inside of uh, Adobe Illustrator. And it's following my lead and that's actually the power of Adobe Character Animator. Um, just sit in front of your webcam, um, set an initial rest pose, you will get all these nice dots around your face um, and all these trackable dots will follow my lead and will be projected on a general ad in this case. So eyebrows, pupils, lip syncing, triggers like this um, can all work within Character Animator. Let's start off with the basics from the start screen. And the start screen gives you a nice set of templates which you can use for your first assignment where you need to introduce somebody to your fictional course or maybe one of your lessons. And you can choose any of those. But for this tutorial, tutorial number one, we're going to start off with Chloe in Adobe Illustrator. So when I start my template of Chloe, it will fire up Adobe Illustrator in the background as well and it will show you all the layers that uh, Chloe's been built up from. And we'll do a deeper dive in the layer structure of Adobe Illustrator in one of the following uh, tutorials. But this is what happens when you start your character in Character Animator and it will open Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop to show the default template in there. But when I go back to Adobe Character Animator, um, it will show you the recording workspace. And the recording workspace is already behaving properly. And one of the cool things of the, the Chloe character is that you can play around with her hands as well. So you can let her wave quite easily by dragging. Uh, so there's nothing to do with your hands. Um, the facial expressions, the motion in the face will be uh, uh, recorded, but not the hand gestures. So this is the basic setup. We can see the properties over here on the right hand side and even some transform tools. So maybe when I jump into the transform tools, um, I'm able to uh, reposition my character. If I want to do that, maybe lower her a bit or maybe scale or zoom in. Something like this could work. And one of the other cool things of this character is that my hair dangles quite nicely. Um, so that's also a nice feature within Character Animator. Your first assignment is to make an introductory video for your, uh, for your lesson or for your course. And um, we'll need to make a recording of that. Um, so how do you make a recording? Well, that's quite easy. There's a nice red recording button. Uh, and when I hit the record button, it will count down three, two, one. And all my motion right now will be recorded. I can do my gestures with my head. I can move my eyebrows and do something like this. And everything, including the audio, will be recorded. And also a waving gesture can be done as well. So now when I stop the recording, I've got my video over here. And all my motion right now will be recorded. I can do my gestures with my head. My, I can move my eyebrows and do something like this and everything, including the audio. And it will show you what your recording looks like. Of course, when you don't want to uh, use that recording, you can easily select the take of the audio or any animation that has been done in the Chloe layer and delete that as well. And now everything is back to normal. So let's do another recording. Well, hello, my name is Chloe. And in this case, I'm going to welcome you to this tutorial about Character Animator. And when I'm really happy with my recording, um, then I need to export it out in order to upload it to YouTube and get it in my learning journal. So I need to export out my video and I could do that with the media encoder. So open the media encoder, give a nice location where your video needs to live. And in this case, I'm going to select my desktop. 
There we go. This will fire up Adobe Media Encoder, another tool which you'll be able to, uh, to export out your video as an MP4 file, and that's ideal for YouTube or uh, Vimeo. Just have a little wait. And then this is the Media Encoder showing me my scene already. It's going to be saved in a H.264 format, which will give me an MP4 file. So that's perfect. It's going to be saved on my desktop. And in here we can see that it's going to be an MP4 file. So that's perfect. And just hit the green arrow over here, the start queue. And that will give me my first animation within Adobe Character Animator. Now let's open up the video. And this works perfect. So once again, when you start off with your start screen, open one of these nice characters. Go back to character animator. Maybe reposition your character. Start your recording. Do some acting with your character. Stop the recording. And export out your video through the media encoder. Upload it to your YouTube account or Vimeo account and implement it in your learning journal. Have fun with Character Animator and I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Click the link in the description below to explore more free online professional development on the Adobe Education Exchange and click the link on screen to subscribe to the channel for more videos.